how do you pick out of your library a clone that has something that you want, that you can clone a lot of? So how do you find, in this case, a globin cDNA clone? Well, bacteria are grown on agar dishes, shown here. And so what you do is you spread the cells of your library onto an agar plate and colonies will grow from single cells. So what you've done is spread the cells under conditions where there are not too many cells on every plate. And so you get a few hundred colonies. So now the library has been displayed on an auger plate. Again, the library represents a subset in this case. If you have a few hundred colonies and you expect a few thousand messages, the library represents a subset of the transcripts that originally came from the red blood cell at the time of extraction in the form of recombinant cDNAs. So now you have grown this plate, that's the original plate. What it's done is to place a, a, a filter on top of the colonies to produce a replica. So you're going to put the filter on top. The filter is going to pick up a few cells from every colony, and then you take that filter and you turn it right side up, colony side up, and put it on a fresh plate. And over time, growth in that dish will produce a mirror image of the colonies that were on the original plate. That's the replica plate.